Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Modern Minecraft. It's been a while. It's been, uh, well, more than a week, probably. And uh, I just, I've had so many videos that I want to do, and I want to get to this, but uh, I just haven't set aside time for for, for modding. You know what it is, probably? And, and I mean, frankly, this isn't doing so great on the channel compared to the, the vanilla stuff, but regardless of that, I still want to play it. Um, it's the loading times, though. It's the forged loading times. Like, it's so unmotivating. Like, okay, well, let me take, you know, 10 minutes to load up this mod pack and then and then whatever it makes it's, it's the one regret i have about maybe picking this pack instead of like all fabric because i think that pack actually loads super fast regardless of that that's kind of not what we're working on today what i want to get into well it's not anything i'm just i'm just complaining what i want to get into is i want to take a look at the quest and i want to look a little bit more into blood magic because blood magic has some rituals that are incredibly incredibly powerful and helpful and uh, the first thing that we need to do is get the ritual for killing mobs, basically. Now, to do that, I need to upgrade the altar into a tier 2 altar. So, let's take a look at that. Place a ring of 8 blank runes, one block beneath the, the a blood altar to increase it to tier 2. It gives you access to several new recipes, but otherwise functions the same. So, that's what I want to do. I want to get this, um, uh, make, make this sort of thing happen. Uh, boy, oh boy. So it takes, it's going to take two blank slates per of these. So that means I'm going to need 16 blank slates. Now I'm fairly certain how you make a blank slate, and I could be absolutely wrong on this. I'm fairly certain how you make a blank slate. You, you just throw it in here and it just takes, it just takes this, right? I think that's how it works. So I'm going to have to get 16 of these and then I can make this. And then what you can do is you can change out the blank runes. Aha. Yeah. Now what did I just get? <laughs> I just got, I just got a blank slate. Okay, cool. All right, well, so you can see what I'm going to be doing. I'll be I'll be hurting myself like this to fill up the altar, uh, down to about one heart, and then just eating potatoes <laughs> and doing this over and over and over for 16 times. So that should be fun. I'll see you on the other side of this. All right, got 16 of them. Let's do a little bit of crafting together, shall we? And actually, you know what? While we're down here, uh, I need more food. One thing about blood magic is you just chew food, chew through food like absolute uh, crazy. So, uh, yeah, let, we'll harvest this uh, up really quickly. And then, uh, yeah, I, I need a better food source than potatoes eventually here down the road. But, uh, you know, at some point that will that will all come. We'll, we'll get like an automated, like, you know, uh, cow farm or something really good at some point. But that's just not yet. Not yet. Looks like I've taken out all of my carrots and just gone totally into potatoes and that is probably a good idea all right i'll dump these in here and get these all cooking up wow i only got that's all i got wow i thought i would have gotten more of that for sure okay well anyway so now we have enough um enough uh, enough blank slates to actually do this crafting i believe and i need rune let's see rune stones the blank ones yep this guy right here uh, yeah, and I need actually eight of them. So let's see. Do I have enough stone? No, not even close. Uh, uh I don't think it's going to take you into sight. Do I have any more stone up here? I think I threw in some cobble, actually. I did. Smart think and fix. All right, nice. All right, so let's do this and let's try. I have, uh, I think it'll take the, the, the weak blood orb. I hope it will take the weak blood orb. I, I have a feeling that it will. So... Wait, did I? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I got scared. I the blood orbs there. Okay, let's let's do that. That. And then we'll just mix all of these in. And <laughs> look at this. Look at look how, how how backwards this is. Again and again. And again. Can I make eight? Yeah, I can make eight. Cool. Okay, let's go put them in my altar and get up, up to a tier two blood magic altar. That's fantastic. Uh, also, is this, I think, I don't know if I have to do this before the quest is done or, or not. I, although I don't think there's a quest reward for this particular quest anyway, so it probably doesn't really matter all that much, but yeah, you know, I, I had a, I had a thought, I had a little bit of, uh, regrets for, for this series. I, I was just, I was watching some YouTube videos and I came across a cool idea for a modded series, but now we're into this. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to stop doing this just because I, I had a new idea. So well, I'm going to shelve that and we'll just remember it for, for next time. Okay, I did it. Tier 2 Ultra, baby. Feel awesome about it. Love it. Look at that thing. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the quest book and see what we got. So this is all checked off. Cool. So the next thing we can do is make a dagger of sacrifice. Now, dagger of sacrifice... 
<laughs> I had an invasion of a two-year-old there. Sorry for the abrupt cut. So, uh, what I want to make, they're supposed to be playing with with, uh, with their mom outside, but he came in, he came in to show me something that he got, and he is just, just covered in mud. <laughs> but anyway, so what I decided to do here is I decided to make some runes of self-sacrifice, because this is a pretty tedious process, and I'm kind of over it already, to be to be honest. Now, can I make this? Oh, it seems like... Oh, crap. Did I leave? You know what? I might have left. I might have left my blood orb oh, back. Because I, I don't think it comes out of the table automatically. I think you have to actually pull it out of these, these uh, well, the Tinker's Construct, which is not Tinker's Construct table. You know what I mean? This other mod that adds basically that same table. Gotta remember to eat, man. This, yeah, it's a tedious process, this, the beginning of this uh, a little bit. So, let's see if I can make this. Oh, Maybe this, I may need to upgrade my blood orb. I don't think it's going to take, I don't think it's going to take the beginner blood orb. So if I need to do that, then how do I make this? Oh, that's a tier three. That's not what I want. I want a magician. Nope. That's again, tier three. I want a, I want the apprentice blood orb. That one. Uh, so that's redstone and it turns into a block of redstone and it's at 5,000 LP. Okay. Well, block of redstone certainly is not challenging for me. I, I'm, I have a lot of redstone from mining. So let's take this over here and now I'll just need to make sure that I have 5,000 5, LP or close to it in my altar before I actually do this because, um, just the process of getting more LP is so tremendously slow, you know, um, so we'll need that. I, I made two reinforced slates, not really knowing that I need to upgrade my, my blood orb uh, just to do this. So let's do this next. We'll um, upgrade this and, oh, shoot. I need to put these guys back, I guess, for right now. Okay, so this right now has 200. Not great. So let's see, if I kill myself, I wasn't completely full health, but if I kill myself almost all the way and take a look, I got up to 1,800. So I need to get 5,000 LP and then I can make this. Okay, I think I got enough. Let's drop this in here right now and just watch the magic happen, hopefully. Yeah, it's going to go down. So we're going to get this tier two. Now, now what I'm going to do, the eventual plan is going to be have no runes of self-sacrifice here, and this will all be mob-driven sort of uh, physics. So what we'll do is we'll make probably, I'll probably make all eight of these because of the just the, the severe grind of getting to tier three and tier four. Um, and then eventually, as I make more, I can use this, and then once I get my mob thing really running, I'll be I'll be just drowning in LP soon, so it won't be a big deal. And then I'll change out all the self-sacrifice ones for uh, the the rune of sacrifice, which is is the the mob one. So that gives you a lot more whenever mobs die. And I'm gonna have a ritual that's running at all times, killing mobs like crazy and just giving me so 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 much LP. This is uh boy. I hope I I hope it. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got it. Can I do some crafting? I <laughs> wouldn't mind some light up here, but I have none. All right, let's do some crafting here. Let's see. Can I make this now? I need to pull out these runes out of my altar. Even just having two of these is, I think, going to make a noticeable difference. And we'll we'll kind of do it together to find out. But uh, let's do one more. There we go. Okay, I got two of these guys. Now I'll just replace these right like that. Now, when I kill myself... Now, what did we say we got? We got about... Was it about was it about two thousand? I think I think it was about two thousand for a near a near full life. And now twenty seven. It was close to empty, not totally empty. So I definitely got a little bit of a perk. I don't remember exactly how much of a perk we got, but um, I think we got some. And if I wanted to, I I made a yeah. See, oh man, you gotta make all these to get this. I guess just eventually. Yeah, eventually. Okay. Each chest has the rooms available to uh, in each other. Each room has a JEI info tab to show what they do. I have not found that necessarily to be totally true. Like when I click on this, it doesn't really show anything. <laughs> so, oh, there, info. Oh, right here. Uh, it gives a blood altar more LP when sacrificing yourself. But I was looking for a number there, and it doesn't. It doesn't tell, unfortunately. So what I'll do is I'm going to try to fill out all eight of these now. And to do that, that means I need, unfortunately. I need more of these reinforced slates, and uh, they require four thousand LP. It's I think it's, I think I think it's it's two thousand, it's two thousand to go from blank to reinforced, and then yeah, it's one so three thousand. So I need three thousand per, and you know every time I 
every time I, I get a new uh, uh, self sacrifice orb, it's just gonna be easier and easier. So we're on the we're on the slope. We're on the descending slope. But let me let me do all this, and then we'll come back and uh, and see what's in this. What is it? It's a blank slate still. Do I have enough? I don't know if I have enough or not. I got this done. It's very, very, very beautiful. And it really does make a huge difference. I, I'm getting so much more LP just from like almost killing myself. You know, I, I think I talked about this in the last episode, but uh, back in the olden days of Blood Magic, there was a cheat where you could set a bet here, you set your spawn, and you would just kill yourself, come back full health. Now, there's a buff. So when you die, you have a buff that doesn't allow you to do any of this. So yeah, it's, it's unfortunately that little that little cheat has been removed. I get it. It's kind of game breaking, but boy, it was really nice for early game. You could have a full altar in like a second, you know? But uh, let's take a look at the quest because we have some more stuff to do here in the blood magic tree. There's some things I'm not interested in yet that I will be very interested in later, like this lava crystal. I plan on running a lot of my furnace and stuff off of that. That that basically uh, you get you use LP to get furnace fuel, uh, but I don't want to use any of my LP for right now. Um, then there's a uh, a um, a blood pack which is basically uh, LP generating things. Um, if you had if I had What's cool is you could AFK a little bit here with this one. Um, you would generate uh, LP, but you would need it like a beacon or some way to constantly heal yourself or something like that. Uh, and we don't obviously have that yet. Uh, there are flasks here. That would be pretty nice because you can actually um, make, uh, you can, yeah, you can drink one eight times. So if I made one healing potion, I could make eight uh you know, I, I can heal myself eight times, which would be really, really, really nice. It requires some LP to make it, and that's, you know, some. Uh, it requires what? It requires a thousand LP. So not bad, like less than almost killing myself one time. So that wouldn't be too bad. And actually, the 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 recipe is not too, too expensive. I, you know, that might not be a terrible idea because I could, I could do it eight times instead of just crush like a whole stack of potatoes and, and have to wait. So that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Should we do that? Should I make a flask? And I mean, I have the alchemy table right here. I think maybe I should. I think maybe I should. Um, the other thing that I'm not I'm not sure about is how to get uh, in how to get uh, into my my what what do you call it my network my LP network. I just don't really remember. Well, mm -hmm. let's wait on that. I could wait on that a little bit and come back to it if necessary. There's some things here like like this. Uh, make a dagger of sacrifice. This where you, I've never had good luck with this. Uh, you only get 250 LP for animals, monsters, 500 villagers, 2,000. I guess if I had a villager spawner and I want to stand around and kill them all day, but I I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never had I've never had any luck. I've never had anything that spawns stuff fast enough to use this manually, other than like cursed earth. And at that point, you probably have an auto killing uh, uh, system to it. So that's really where I want to get to. I really want to get up to the rituals and stuff like that. So to get to that, though, unfortunately, the grind continues. We would need to get to rituals. You're going to need a tier three blood altar, which means yikes. 20 runes that is a huge thing some glowstone which i've spent enough time in the nether i can get that unfortunately though i need to make 20 blank runes and to do this uh even just the blank kind which is, i don't mind making the blank because because then you can use these to upgrade um i think you have to actually which so i'm gonna need 40 40 blank slates to do uh, how much LP does it require to, uh, for a blank slate? I actually forget. A thousand? I think I can keep ahead of that. So, should I automate this? I feel that maybe I should. You know, let's do a healing flask first. Let's do a healing. Let's do it. Let's do a, that. That's not bad. Let's see if we have any nether wart in the base. I, I know that I should have some, but I don't know if I actually planned it to turn, you know, in a little soul sand area here. So let's hope that I did. We'll find that it's not out here in my garden. I don't think. All right. It must be down here. Oh, I never get that. All right. Let's see if we have any nether wart. Oh boy. How am I going to find it? Let's, let's see here. Uh, wart. And I think if you double click, yeah, there it is. Ha ha ha. Cool. And also, I want to look for do I have soul sand? Soul. None there. That's not good. Uh, miscellaneous? No? No? I love the search function. It's so nice. 
Oh, it's over here. Oh, I have three soul sand. I have three. Uh, okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Let's go ahead and plant this outside. Uh, reason being that... Oh, actually, you know, we might as well just plant it... We might as well just plant it over here, actually, near my blood... Near my, uh, blood magic area. I might as well, because I'm gonna be using it, and plus maybe we can use a little decoration there. And I'll just remember to harvest this just kind of every time we walk by. Let's see. Put that over there. I need to get rid of that. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Now I have I have that that rolling, and I still have lots more left. But I just want to make sure that I, this is a renewable resource for me. You know, what I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use up all of the uh, nether wood that I have. So the the other things that I need for this, if I want to make this, let's see. It's called a flask of. It's a potion flask. That's weird. Hold up. That's not what I thought. Is that just to make the... Oh, it can be filled with several potions. A... This is odd. Uh... Oh, the simple catalyst. Okay. No, that's just to make it... I don't I don't need it to be more, more powerful or whatever. All I need is... How do you... Uh... This is just, this is just a potion flask. Would I fill this then with, I don't understand this. I don't remember this from back in the day. Would I fill this then with, um, would I actually put regular alchemy potions in it? Because if that's the case, that's not that valuable. I'd have to still have the glistening melon and all that kind of, kind of stuff. Hmm. I don't know. Let me do some research here. Okay, I'm gonna skip the flask for right now because I it's I, it's not exactly what I thought it was gonna be, and instead what I'm gonna do is use some of these transfer nodes and maybe maybe just a regular old chest I think possibly yeah let's just do a regular chest for right now it could be any it could be a, a storage crate or whatever honestly but I think a chest is just fine and that way we can automate this so all I'm gonna need then is to bring in some stone I'm gonna want I wanna want to only do forty just so I don't overdo it. So we'll just keep exactly 40 because I'm going for uh, blank slates. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to pull this out before any more LP gets used because right now what I want to do is I'm looking for, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, stone? No, uh, self? Yeah, this, that's not what I'm looking for. That's the only name I could, blank rune. That's what I'm looking for. So I need blank slates, and what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a filter to pull the blank slates out before it starts turning into the next tier, right? Otherwise, uh, otherwise I could um, waste LP on getting up to a tier two, which is cool, but that's not what I what I want to do. So extra utilities. Here's a transfer filter, and there's a filter. So I need let's see, string, redstone, sticks, all of which I I certainly have. Um, Sticks, redstone. Do I have? Oh yeah, I have lots of string for my uh, my amazing, uh, amazing, amazing mob farm, which is actually pretty good, except for Enderman, unfortunately. So let's make a filter right there. And I think what we're gonna have to do now. I have two trans. I have good. I'm good on transfer. I'm probably gonna need actually. I'm probably gonna need another another chest just to put them in. Uh, so let's just do this and that. And again, we could you use. Uh, any storage this is just a just to put stuff down and uh yeah let's go we'll go sleep and we'll put this um put this uh put this all together all right i think i can work this out so we'll just do a chest right here and a chest right there and then i'm gonna do a extraction node and a node there now i'm gonna have to make one uh by hand because i need to make sure that the filter oh you know something i didn't really consider <laughs> That's nice. I guess I'll take that off for right now. Uh, one thing I didn't consider is this will put in multiple stones, right? Can you? Let's test this. Let's test it first. Um, if I put in all these, how many stones are you putting in? Uh, it's putting in... Is it putting in all of them? How many stones are there? I don't even know. Is this going down? Yeah, it is. So how, how would I, stop, you're using all my LP, you jerk. Uh, how, um, how would I do this? How would I get only one, only one to come up? Uh, can I do a filter? Huh. 
I don't know exactly. Let me see. I may need to do a little bit of reading. I didn't really think about this, but yeah, I only want one at a time to go. I want one to go, and then when it's clear, for another one to go, you know? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could do en Enderail, maybe? Let me take a look at this and do some thinking. I'm gonna experiment a little bit here on camera. I probably shouldn't, but uh, I, from, from a little bit of reading here, I think maybe this is actually what I need because I think, now does this go on there? It does, okay. Now how do I, okay, unlimited. I want a single item of, of, where did my filter go? <laughs> I guess I have to have also, also a filter. Okay, so I, I use my filter in creating. Cool. So now I, I think I do this and I think I'm gonna do just, uh, I want one, I want one stone in this filter and I'm going to click that and I'm going to drop this filter in there. So I want a single item of stone. Now let's test this. Let's put in all those. Okay, they're just flowing into this and that's going to hold all of them and only one item is going to go in there. So that totally works. Then the other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to make actually another filter just like so. And on this filter then actually what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, I think, hurt myself just a little bit here. Okay, great. And once this turns into a blank slate, I can grab it. Because then what I'll do is then I'll have an, a, a, a filter on the out that it says, okay, wait, grab, grab it quick. Okay, cool. Okay, now I have a blank slate. So then what I'll do is I'll put this filter and I'll say, you are only allowed to grab blank slates. And I'll put this right here. And inside of that, I'll put in this filter. Now it should hypothetically, this hypothetically should run all the time and then all i have to do is put down uh this well how about that so now i can just stand here oh my goodness i almost just like spam click that that would have been pretty nasty uh all i have to do is i'm gonna have to go get some more food but you see what i'm saying like all i have to do is is just this and then i'm gonna get look at that i'm getting them so over here i have 34 i have plus one uh, plus, uh, these, this, this, uh, thir that's 37, so I'm missing a little bit of stone. I don't know where it went. I lost a little bit of stone, but, uh, it works. It works cool. Well, I'm gonna make 40 of these, and, um, the thing is, I'm just gonna have to stay ahead of it somehow, and that is gonna involve, uh, I'm gonna need some regeneration. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold everything. I accidentally died. I, I wasn't really paying attention, and I, I... Did my dagger one too many times? Is that buff? Has it been removed generally or in this just this mod pack or what? I was just under the assumption that that buff uh, is, you know, still in the game, but I don't see it right now. Okay, I'm doing a test. I put my bed right here. Uh, I just died again. Can I? Uh, can I just do this? <laughs> oh, man, what a... What a cheat of the system, but, uh, yeah, apparently I think that I can. Holy cow. Okay. Um, so now I'll just dump all of these in and, uh, okay. Well, apparently that's a thing in Feed the Beast University or in 1.12 or something. Maybe it's been removed from, from Blood Magic, but, uh, yeah, this is going to be, it's like, oh, oh, I'm getting weak. Okay. Boom, and there we go. <laughs> cool. Well, you know, I think that's probably a good place to wrap up today's episode with some, some amazing dying skills. I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. Bye, everybody.